Alright, so this should be a quick one. Uh, we're going to finish off the tail lights real quick. So let's take this one and let's hide it. <clears throat> now let's take this. Let's go into edit mode. I'm going to take off these edges here. Alright. I want to press Shift and D to duplicate it like this. I want to press P to separate the selection. Now let's take this. Let's go into edit mode. Let's go over to the back view. And we're going to take these four <clears throat> and press F. Take these two and press F all the way to there. Now I'm going to take these four as well. <clears throat> Sorry. Press F, take these two, and press F all the way. So now all I'm going to do now is to try to straighten these ones out. So let's begin with this. I'm going to press G twice, slide this here, take this, slide it there, take this, slide it there. I'm going to slide this forward, like that as well. I'm going to slide this as well. I'm going to do the same thing here. Slide them to be quite straight with each other, like that, as you can see. And there we go. <clears throat> Now let's move on to this side. I want to take these four and press F. I want to take these two and press F ones. I want to add one in the middle of each of them. Take these four, press F, and take these four and press F. I want to add one in here. Take these two and press F twice. Take these two and press F twice. So I want to add two in the middle here, okay? Just so we have sort of a, a square faces everywhere or pretty close to it. So just adding two loop cuts in the middle of each of them. As you can see what I'm doing right now, like that. Now let's take these two vertices on each side of these ones. So let's press X and dissolve those vertices. And let's add one in the middle of each. So we're going to take each four and press F. I'm going to take each four and press F, like that. So this is what we have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one. All right, I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to take this. Let's move everything pretty close to the surface right here. And let's add in the shrink wrap modifier. And let's click on the eye dropper and select this. So we're going to apply that. Let's press alternate to bring everything back. Let's hide this. And let's take that surface again. I'm going to move it in the y axis outwards. Pretty close to the surface. Like that. And let's move over here. Let's see what we can do about this area. <clears throat> we want to move this in the z axis to here. Take this, move it in the z axis to here. I'm going to take this, press G twice, slide it out to there. Take this. Press G twice, slide it onto there, and then slide it here, and slide this back as well. Alright, so there we go. Now let's get in here. Let's take these edges. And these ones as well. I want to press Shift and E and press 1 to add in a, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? An edge crease, like that. So all I want to do now is go into edit mode and let's increase the subdivision surface to 3, like this. So we're going to increase it to 3, like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the subdivision surface. But let's move this in just a tiny bit more, like that. So let's apply the subdivision surface. Let's go into edit mode. And let's move in here. So I'm going to press Shift and E, type in negative 1 to get rid of the creases now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press I to inset the faces like that. Bring up this menu and enable individual so it insets the face individually like that so we're going to insert it again this time with much more bigger gap between them like that that is quite good so what we're going to do now is we're going to press G and then Y we're going to pull this out in the Y axis just like that so you can see that is looking good very nice so now what we're going to do now is let me see we're going to take everything and we're going to press E and then Y, and when I extrude this in the Y axis, give it just a little bit of some thickness because it's glass, like that, and that should be good. So let's take everything, let's press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And that is the first stage, that is the first thing we wanted to do, and we've achieved it. Alright, so the next one, let me just hide this. I want to take this again, let's go into edit mode. I'm going to take all of this, press Shift and D to duplicate it, and we're not, we're not going to separate this one. But we're going to go into vertex select mode. Press Ctrl and I and hide everything else. And let's take these four and press F. Let's take these two. Press F all the way here. Take these four. Press F. Take these two. Press F all the way here. Now over here, we're going to take these four and press F. Take these two. Press F. Let's add one in here and another one in here. Let's take these four. Press F. Take these four. Press F. Add one in the middle here, take this two, press F twice, take this two, press F twice. 
Now, around this area, I think what we're going to do is, um, let me see. Let me just dissolve these ones. Alright, so I'm going to dissolve the vertices here and these vertices here. Let's add one in the middle of each. And let's take them, press F, take this two and press F. I'm going to do the same thing here, press F, take this two and press F. Alright, so that is good. Now, all I want to do is, let's add in two, just like we did with the other one, in between each of these. Like that. <clears throat> so you can see what I'm doing. And let me see. So that's pretty good. Now, let's get on over here. Let's add in a shrink wrap modifier. So first off, let me just, let me just go in here, let me add in a new group and assign these vertices to them. And let me add in a shrink wrap modifier. And I'm going to click on the eyedropper and select this. And let's load in the group 001. And let's press, let's press apply. Or let's click on apply to apply this like that. Alright, so that is good. Now let's go into edit mode. And what I'm going to do is, let me, see, let me press alternate to bring everything back. We need to move things around a little bit. So let me take a look at this one. Let me just hide it real quick. All right, let me get onto the back view. Let me go into wireframe. Let me see. I can't really see this better. So what I want to do is I'm not so sure. Let me just move them. Let me just move them around myself. So let me scale this in as the axis, just a little bit like that. I want to take these two press G twice, slide it here, and I want to scale it in the Z axis as well, like that. Alright, so let's press Alt and H to bring everything back, and I'm pretty sure it should fill the area very nicely. And there we go. So that is looking good. Now all I want to do now is I want to take all these, and I'm going to move it in the Y axis, just forward. So I'm going to move it forward to about this point right here, and that should be good. Now we just have to make sure the other object doesn't intersect it. Let's click on Object here and select Shade Smooth. Now we just have to make sure the other object doesn't intersect it, so let's press Alt and H to bring it back. And let's hide it, let's see if it doesn't, okay, so it doesn't intersect it, it looks really good right there. Alright, so that is the first one. Now the second one, we're going to move over to this side. Right here, let's go into edit mode. I'm going to take all these, all these over here, like this. Let me take a look. Alright, so I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate this. Press P to separate the selection. I'm going to take this, take that, and press Ctrl and J to join them. Let's go into edit mode now. Oh no, let's separate this. Let's press P and separate this. Alright, let's work with this alone first. Now let me go in here. Let me see, I'm going to select this vertex right here. Just the one after the first one. The one after the first one. And I'm going to go down here as well. And I'm going to select, hold down Ctrl and select the one after the first one from below. I'm going to dissolve all of those vertices. Now let me see. I mean dissolve them. Like that. Yeah, so we're going to do the same thing here. Select all of these. Dissolve the vertices. Nice. So all I'm going to do now, let me take... Let me take all of those vertices. Deselect the ones at the corners. And let's dissolve all of them. So I'm going to press F here. Let's add in... I don't know. Let's add in... Maybe... 7 let's add one in the middle like that. So let's take all the edges around this. Let's press Shift and E and press 1 to, you know, add in a crease like that. And now let's bring down, let's bring in a subdivision surface. And I think 3 will be good enough, just like we did with the other one. Yeah, so 3 should be good enough. And all we're going to do is just press Shift and N to recalculate it. Let's move this in the Y axis just a little bit inside like that. And let's apply the subdivision surface. Now I'm going to insert this just like we did with the other one. About the same distance like that. And we're going to move it in the Y axis. About the same distance. Just like that. Alright, so let's take everything. Let's move it in some more. Because we have to solidify the glass. Alright, so let's take everything. Let's press Shift and E. Type in negative 1 to remove the crease. And now let's press E. And extrude this in the y axis to add in the solidify like that. Alright, there we go. So that is looking good. 
Now all that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that one and hide it. I'm gonna take this one again. Let's go in there. And again, I'm gonna take all of these. Press Shift and D, duplicate it. Let's press Ctrl and I and hide everything else. Let's go to vertex select mode. And I'm gonna select all the vertices. All of these vertices, except for the ones here. And I'm gonna press X and dissolve the vertices. And let me just take everything, press F. And let's press Shift and E and press 1 so that we have it uh, very, I mean, the edge crease filling all of the edges very nicely and making it very sharp, like that. Alright, that is good. So let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. Let's hide this. Now that finishes for this area and that area. Now we have to do it for the middle area as well. Okay. Alright, so over here, all that we're going to do is, let me just get in here, let me see, let's press Alt and to bring everything back. So let me just get over here, let me see, yeah, let me get over here, let me press Alt and to bring all the stuff here back, let me get in here instead, alright, so this time I'm going to take this one instead. The one right on top of the glass, I mean the end of the glass like that. And I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate it. And I'm going to press P to separate the selection. Now let's take it and let's remove the solidify. So let's press Ctrl and I, hide everything else. Let's take this, go into edit mode. Let's take these four, press F. Take these two, press F. And let me see. Um... I'm not so sure, but let's let's just add one. Or oh, let's let's take these two. Press F first. I think we need one more here. Let's put one here. Let's take these four and press F. Take these two and press F. I'm not so sure about this area, but what are we gonna do about this? Let's take these four and press F. Let's take these four as well. Press F. And let's leave this side a triangle. Like this. Alright, not bad. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in two or just one in the middle here. And then let me just pull it. Let me go over to the top view. Let me just pull it in the y axis just to match the curvature like that. And I'm gonna put two in the middle here, I think. No, let's add in three. In the middle there, let me get to the top view. And I'm gonna pull it out like that. Let me get into wireframe. Come on, oh come on, and let me pull this out a little bit as well. Alright, so this is coming out pretty nicely. Let's add in three over here as well. Let's get over to the top view. And I don't think we have to. I don't think we have to move that one at all. It's looking good. Let's put one more in the middle here, and there we go. So let me get into wireframe. Let me bring everything back. Let me hide this. And let me take this one. So let's take a look. Now I'm just gonna take these two. Press S and Z. Let me scale it down. Just a little bit like that. Take everything and let me scale it up a little bit. Alright. Nice. So all that I want to do now is I am going to add in the subdivision. I mean, we're going to use the subdivision surface to give this some uh, great faces of about that much. I don't know if that is too much. I think that is too much. Let's drop it to 3. And 3 is good. So with 3, all that we're going to do now is... I want to apply the subdivision surface. Let's go in here and let's insert the faces. So I'm going to press I to insert the faces to about there. I think that is good enough. And let's move it in the y axis. So I'm going to pull this in the y axis to about that much. Like that. Alright. So that is looking good. That is looking very good. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the whole thing now and I'm gonna press E and extrude it out like that. And I'm gonna press S um no, maybe let's not press S. Uh let's keep it there like that. Let's just leave it like that. I don't know. Well, let me just take everything. Let me pull it in the y axis. Like this to about this point. Like that, and I think that should be good. 
Let me just pull it out a little bit. It's about there. Now let me press Alt and H to bring everything back. <coughs> Sorry. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this one right here. That is this piece right here. Let me go into edit mode again. I'm going to take all of this. Press Shift and D again to duplicate it. And press P to separate the selection. Now I'm going to take that. I'm going to go into edit mode. Let's move this solidify modifier. And let me just press Ctrl and I to hide everything else. So I can see this much better. So I'm going to take these four. Press F. Take these two. Press F once. Take these two. Press F. I'm going to add one in the middle here. Take these four. Press F. Take these two. Press F. And I'm going to take these four and press F. Take these four, press F, and I want to press F to here just to fill that area very nicely. So with that done, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to press E, and then extrude this in just a little bit for the thickness, like that. All right, so that is good. I'm going to press Shift and N to recalculate the normals, and let me just hide these ones here. Let me put one in the middle here, hide it, and let me take both of these. I'm going to press I to insert the faces like that. And let's disable individual, just so it insets all around it very nicely like that. Alright, so let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. Let me select this, click on object, and select shade smooth. Like that. And that is the glass that is going to be on the surface there. So let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. And that should be the glass that will be on the surface. Like that, as you can see. Now one more thing we have to do most thing we have to do um, alright let's hide this there's just one more thing we have to do let's hide this and let's hide that and uh, let me see let's hide this as well so let's go over here let's go into edit mode I'm gonna take all of these edges here and I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate them as well. And we're going to press Ctrl and I and then hide the others. So I'm going to take these four, press F, take these two, press F all the way here. Take this, hold on, let me press Ctrl and R in here, add in only one. Take these four, press F, take these two and press F. And I'm going to take these four and press F, and take these four and press F, and take this and press F once. Alright, so I'm going to add one in here. Let me just pull it in the y axis like this. I'm gonna add another one in here, pull it in the y axis like that. Take this, just pull it in the y axis a little bit. And there we go. So I'm gonna click on object, select shade smooth. Let's press Alt and H to bring everything back. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that about does it for this whole area. Now I'm just gonna save this. We are done here. The only thing we have left is this area over here, but we'll do that in a separate video. That is the lights that we have below here.